So I see a lot of misconceptions, such as this post right here, arguing that blight is above the present. People just use this statement right here and think it's the end of the world. The debate's over. The presence is below blight. But leave out the context completely. Blight makes this statement. If the presence had the ability to destroy me, don't you think he would have done it already? So this is completely blight's opinion on the matter. And doesn't actually have a perspective on the presence and doesn't understand why the presence isn't destroying. Him. As stated right here by the presence, he wants blight to be alive. And he told Phantom Stranger to join blight's team and to listen to him. The Phantom Stranger is confused, like, why do you want me to join the evil guy? He's like, there are plans within plans, and there's a greater good hidden within an evil. Now, progressing on with this story, the Phantom Stranger doesn't really listen to the presence, and then the presence proceeds to freeze everybody, including Blight, freeze him in his tracks, and then to let the Phantom Stranger know, you have to join Blight. Keep in mind, Phantom Stranger has fought Blight and has actually harmed him pretty badly. Constantine and the Phantom Stranger actually get pissed off at the presence and want to go chat up with him and get like an understanding why he's doing this. And the Phantom Stranger admits, yeah, the presence could throw him away, but he's not doing it, which is why he's mad. Even Constantine who fought Blight admits the presence could beat him. It's just a matter of the presence wanting to or not. When they go to ask the presence why he's letting this happen, he says and gives multiple analogies that indicate there's always a greater good within evil people. Which makes perfect sense because the host that Blight was using actually one shots Blight and becomes God's vessel. He becomes God's mercy. And then after Blight's fight, the Phantom Stranger says that the host of Blight became a universal good which shows the presence is actually correct and how his plan was to get the greater good within the evil which was the host becoming the universal good and becoming god's vessel and even the host overpowered blight which the host is just an aspect of the presence